So, from a current perspective, um, the one of the biggest use cases that we see is this semantic text search. As you all know, uh, with this new class of models, you can take your text data, convert that into these things called vector embeddings using a AI model. That gives you the ability to search across semantically. That is based on the meaning of things rather than the keywords that are actually present there. That opens up some exciting possibilities. Everyone has used tools like ChatGPT, Claude, where you can ask questions to these large language models, right? So with RAG, we power this QA where you can marry your private data sources with public information using the reasoning capabilities of this emerging class of AI models called large language models. I think all of you are probably aware of RAG and that is one of the most critical patterns of putting together these powerful applications. So just as a primer, so typical workflow for a generative AI query comes from user asking a question to the large language model, getting back a response. So with RAG, and like, you know, you have a bunch of these large language models you have from OpenAI, you have Cohere, you have a bunch of open source models available on these repositories like Hugging Face. With RAG, the way this paradigm changes is we intercept the user's query, pass it to a vector database that is able to provide the context and now pass along that query along with this additional context from a private knowledge sources back to the LLM. So introducing the MongoDB generative AI stack. So this stack constitutes broadly of six categories that we put together. So from the very bottom, we start off with these AI models. AI models primarily are your foundational models, generative models, and your embedding models. Up the stack is your model hosting or serving platforms. Followed up is the data integration, the data pre-processing layer, followed by the vector database, which powers the memory for all these applications. And to put these together, you get your LLM app orchestration frameworks. That brings us to vector database. Uh, hopefully all of you are aware. Uh, I've been using it, would love to know what you're doing with it, vector search. Uh, but that's a vector database integrated into MongoDB's Atlas platform that we announced in last.local and have seen massive growth in. So with the retrieval system in your RAG pipeline, it's a iterative process. Start off with a vector search, go to vector search with metadata filtering, uh, go to with post filtering, being able to combine that with text search. This is a traditional keyword based search, BN25, having ability to combine vector search and your text search with hybrid search. 